Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Uh, we have been just hanging out, taking things slow this morning. I picked up some groceries and we've just been playing with Legos and things, um, taking our time getting ready. It's a dark and dreary day here, which is perfect cozy weather for our plan for today, which is to make homemade strawberry jam. I don't think I've ever made a like homemade jam before, but I figured it'd be a perfect summertime recipe to make and a fun thing to do with my son. So I picked up some fresh strawberries from the grocery store and then I'm making a recipe that only has four ingredients. So the recipe I'm making only has strawberries, lemon juice, honey, and chia seeds in it. So it should be pretty easy and I'm excited to try it out. Okay, right, ready? First, we're gonna rinse them, okay? Agents of the other Beyond gravel, beyond all Hand in hand Building castles out of sand Reaching for the ground The jam is finished. It smells so good and it looks like it's going to be really delicious. I did not have a potato smasher, so I just mushed it up as best I could with a spatula and a whisk. But I think it'll be good with like some chunks of strawberry in it. I kind of like jelly that way. So it's in the refrigerator and it is thickening up. The chia seeds are an interesting ingredient in it, but I think it'll make it have a really nice texture because it's supposed to help soak up the juices a little bit more. Um, so that'll be interesting. I think I'm gonna make some breakfast for dinner tonight. So I'll make some eggs and then we'll have toast that I can put the strawberry jelly on. So we'll report back after dinner how that is. I got my kids down for naps and quiet time. So now I really need to knock out some laundry and then I would really like to read. I'm in the middle of a good book right now, so I want to sit down and read. This is just the perfect, like, cozy afternoon for reading. But I need to do laundry and straighten up a little bit first. But I did get two new books I'll share with you. First is Something Wilder. I'll be honest, I read this cover, or read the back of the cover a couple months ago at the store, and I was just... I felt like I wouldn't be into the plot. I don't know. Basically, her dad was like a treasure hunter. And then now she is like taking over that. I don't know. It sounds kind of like Outer Banks plot line a little bit. And I just didn't think I'd be into it. I don't know. But this author I read, it's actually a 
group of authors like it's two best friends Christina and Lauren who write together so that's pretty cool but I read their book the unhoneymooners recently and absolutely loved it I loved their writing their characters so that made me want to give another one of their books a try so I picked this one up I'm excited to start it but I right now I'm in the middle of this one the summer of broken rules and so far it's really cute I will say it's kind of funny because basically she goes on a family vacation for her cousin's wedding and her sister has passed away like a year before this and her longtime boyfriend broke up with her so she's just like going through some stuff there's a lot of like processing grief in here but she goes on a family vacation to celebrate her cousin's wedding and they play this like fun game together and she meets one of the groomsmen and they kind of hit it off but it's supposed to be like a week i guess and so it's broken up by like the days but the days will be like five four or five chapters long and so i'm like 10 chapters in and we're on like the second or third day and their interactions like the two main love interest their interactions i'm just like you would not act like this if you literally just met the person 24 hours ago i don't know it's just like kind of weird like very fast moving in that in a way that is not very realistic i feel like but if you can suspend belief on that part of it it is really cute I really like it because it has a lot to do with her family and her relationship with her cousins. I come from a really big family and I just, I grew up with my cousins and just love reading about that because it's special to me. And also the characters are really cute and I do love both of the love interests. And also the setting of the summer is just so great in this book it's a really good summer read and they're like hanging out on the lake and it's just really good summer vibes so so far i really am enjoying it i'm about a little less than halfway through but i want to make some time to read this today
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And then. Okay, the strawberry jam was really good. I love how it turned out. And now I'm gonna throw together a picnic lunch because tomorrow a friend and I are taking our kids to a pick your own flower farm. I actually talked about it in my spring reset video, but we are going tomorrow. It's about an hour away and they have a pick your own flower field with utensils and stuff that you can use there. And then they have farm animals and it says you can take a picnic lunch and enjoy it on the property. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm just gonna um, hang out for the rest of the night. Pick it up.
today was so much fun. It was so beautiful. They had so many flowers there. Lots of animals. They had donkeys, horses, goats, um, chickens. It was so fun. The kids had a really fun time too. And it was just a beautiful day. Like gorgeous weather, perfect. The picnic was really sweet and turned out really good. So all in all, it was just a beautiful day. Such a fun summer activity. Um, my kids came home and crashed because we were all exhausted and I got to read my book a little bit more. So it was just a beautiful day and it's been a great few days of summer activities. Thank you all for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful summer. Bye!